Wow, man. It's uh that's a trailer for the the, <laughs> the new animated series Little Demon that's out on FXX. <laughs> Never thought I'll say those words. The new animated series Little Demon. Um and the executive producers and stars are here with us today. I'm Crazy. Gonna, I want to start with the father real quick, Lucy, if you don't mind. That's fine. That's okay. Fine. DB, I want to let yeah. you jump in. Well, oh, 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 you want to do a tandem, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, like uh, buddy, buddy. Uh, let me see if I can see you here because Tracy's kind of like. Okay. <laughs> oh, my bad. She's, she's we got to give you room. Taxi. Oh, okay. You're going to start with your favorite. Oh, my gosh. Man. <laughs> Take a even, breath. I, this is one of those. Uh, this is not an interview. Yeah. Me, <laughs> yeah. Let me say this. Shit. Everything I'll prep is out the window. We're here. We're here. Take your time. As a young, Take as, your time. As a young man roll. growing up in Oakland, California, there were certain shows that kept my attention, mm -hmm. right? And there were certain um, stylings of comedy that really appealed to me that I was happy about because I liked comedy from all walks of life. Mm -hmm. I didn't like one in particular kind of comedy. I didn't just, just like what Richard Pryor did. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Right. I didn't just mm -hmm. like what... Paul Mooney did. Mm -hmm. I didn't just like what Robin Williams did, mm -hmm. but I love situation comedies where the timing was impeccable. I recognized that as a young kid. And watching Taxi, I got to know um, our next guest in such a way that I thought I knew him, mm -hmm. you know, uh, just because I related to his comedy timing, you know. And then as I watched his career um, throughout the years, young black guy out of Oakland. Mm. Beautiful. Just paying attention to Beautiful. the work you was doing. I was feeling it. Yeah. Yeah, I felt it. You felt it? Absolutely. We've Every, had <laughs> yeah, when uh, Taxi started in 1978. Wow. The day before. <laughs> and now it's years when there were three networks, ABC, CBS, NBC. You know, our lead-in was three, Three's Company. Yeah. It was like a big show. And so the show was on a Tuesday night, I believe, when we premiered. Monday, you and Danny walking around the street. You know, I'd done a couple of movies. I did Cuckoo's Nest, but I was. Oh, people looked at me and went, "You know, this is Dan you know Danny walks in. It's no big deal." <laughs> Cuckoo's Nest was like 1974. It's four years ago. It's like a great Jack movie. Jack Nicholson, though. Jack Nicholson, though. Yeah. yeah no, yeah. it was a great. No, an honor to work with yeah. him. But the the what I'm getting at is that because of the way it was then with the television situation, where with three networks, we had. And you know, you guys will know all this stuff. We had a sixty six zero share Damn. on a Tuesday night. So, like the next day, the next day, <laughs> when you walk into a supermarket, you know, go get yourself, you know, some cookies or whatever. You know, you're you're Louis. You You're walk Louis. in, it was Louis De Palma. You were Louis. I, everywhere. Louis this, Louis that. They play, people play the song, Louis, Louis. <laughs> I was like, you know, just like Louis all the way down the road. And I knew it was going over, you know, all you know, all the different cities. And wow. I'm sure Oakland was big on it, too. It was okay. a working class people, uh, you know, basically uh, the writing was like just off the charts and that's what you rely on you know when you're an actor and you you know you got other people you have the other actors are in there with you and you're supporting each other mm -hmm. and that's all flowing and you're surfing and you're doing the thing with together you're all moving in and out it's all the vibe but you always have to have that material to lean on and we had taxi we had jim brooks ed weinberger stan daniels dave davis these guys were mary lou henner Mar well mary lou the, the cast was okay. off the charts the cast was off the chart really yeah. judd hirsch uh, uh -huh. tony danza mary lou henner uh, carol kane we had uh -huh. you know andy kaufman, andy kaufman. We had, kaufman yeah you know so what was andy like like on set was he like <laughs> You use exactly the way you can imagine. I mean, wow. Andy was like a trip. He was uh, very, you know, solitary, on, kind of on his own. On his own, he was very. Like, he'd walk into a room and he would change the whole. Like it's almost like some kind of weird animal walked into the room and you look at <laughs> that you've never seen before. Uh -huh. you, go, mm. you know, like you go in a room and people usually say hello, you know, right. or this or that, or like here we are. Yeah. Okay, we're all sitting here, we're having a good time. Annie would come in. Nothing. You'd be like, what is this? And who brought him? And, right. and how did he get here? Where did, was there a hole in the wall? How did the door ain't even open? What? Oh, he was like. He was a but a beautiful guy, you know, really sweet, 
uh, genuine, beautiful guy. And, uh, you know, it was, uh, the whole cast was, it was a lot of fun. Five years we did the show. Five years. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Congratulations. Danny thank DeVito you. was thank here. You. Oh, hey. thank you. Mm-hmm. You got a Golden Globe for that one, right? Yep. Uh, yeah, go, go. <laughs> yep. You say it like it's nothing. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Got that. Nice. War of the Roses. Can I name stuff and you could just talk about it? Sure. War of the Roses was like a, a lot of fun to do. It was a, you know, I worked with Michael and Kathleen in uh, Romance in the Stone and, and Jewel of the Nile. Nile. Mm-hmm. That's DB, I, by the way. Come on, get in there. Right? <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> go, yeah. Go ahead. No, I used to watch that movie. Like, I used to show it all the time uh, on cable when I was growing up. I mean, in, in so many other movies. And, you know, I was going through my collection. I'm a huge cinephile, by the way. So I was looking at all my DVDs and Blu rays. I'm like, all right, which one am I going to take? And I decided. On twins because oh of baby rest in peace Ivan Reitman who we just lost yeah, recently yeah, and so yeah. I figured you know this one probably means the most to me and uh th- yeah this is the one I grabbed but I mean we we have to reset because we haven't even announced who's here yet oh yeah oh my We've bad to, like, yo, a yo, full go ahead, yo, 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 my bad my bad <laughs> who's here Sway yeah, right. I, ju- I just said this ain't gonna be your regular situation <laughs> yeah I, I prefaced it with that go yeah, ahead, my we, bad. we gotta okay. let people know you speak of the devil and he shows up luckily we don't have the actual <laughs> devil but we've been talking about this show ever since. Rio Perlman came by about two weeks ago and with us right now we have Danny DeVito his lovely daughter Lucy DeVito who plays Yay. the Antichrist Yay. and she's going to be playing in Blonde I believe coming up which is premiering in the Venice, Venice Film Festival yeah. this week yeah. and uh, I'm also a part of the Critics Choice Association I'd like to brag Ow. a little bit we gave you the Icon Award I believe back in 2011 cool. so it is an honor an absolute honor to meet the both of you and to have you here you. on the show Thank with Sway in the so Morning please me. welcome Danny DeVito and Lucy DeVito come on, man. stars come on, of man. Little come David on. Come, on. come on now on yeah. FXX How are you talking? The devil and his daughter. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> what a duo. <laughs> yeah, so you're the devil's child, huh? Yes. The well, Antichrist. You, the anti. Yeah. Well, 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 I, I have a daughter, Danny. Was she anything like the role she plays? As a, as oh a yeah, this is. Oh yeah. This is art imitating life. <laughs> <laughs> A little little window into the DeVito Perlman household. Yeah, <laughs> that's the sweetest. She's the sweetest, and uh, oh. I have three. Uh, uh, her sister uh, Gracie, also adorable, and I have a, a boy, uh, Jake, who's also a producer on Little Demon. He's working with us. The three mm-hmm. of us have been working on this for a while. We're really excited it's about it. Affair. It's a real that's family crazy. affair. It's a real family affair. Yeah, it is. Damn. Yeah, it is. Congrats, yeah. Lucy. It, it's so funny. We just had um, Bianca Lawson here. Now, her dad is Richard Lawson, actor forever. Her mom is Denise Gordy, obviously from the Gordy, very Gordy, that family legacy. Mm-hmm. And she was saying her mom wanted her to go to Brown University and become an attorney. Oh, my God. And we were like, what? The music family acting? How did your mom want that? Is Did you have a choice? So did you just, I mean, with the yeah. comedic timing in your family alone, like, I, I think you were probably just born funny. Yeah, I mean, we grew up in a really ridiculous house. <laughs> so <laughs> it was just sort of, like, ingrained in me. But funny enough, I did go to Brown University. Oh, my did gosh! You? Yes, I did! What? Yes. Wow, Studying what? I did uh, theater and art okay, history. Got yeah, it. yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh! But, yeah, no, like, because I think that <laughs> my parents—they were both—they um, were very supportive of me going into the business, but mm-hmm. not as a kid. Mm, they were, okay. you know, very much like go to school, get your education, see if you like it, see if you like anything else. Um, mm. And um, so I, I worked really hard in school and. You know, decided I still wanted to be an actor. <laughs> wow. And, um, you know, so here we are. But, oh, congrats. Yeah, That's yeah. amazing. Thank you for sharing that. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. If your daughter doesn't act up to par, what do you say? Oh, no, she uh, she does. Do okay. it She's again. Only- Oh, that's yeah. it. <laughs> well, there's a lot of that. There's a lot of we do it again. We get yeah. to do it again. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. It's really been fun doing this together. You know, it's uh, we've worked together a couple times in little things here and there, and also you know just being together, always messing around at ha- in the house, whatever was going on. And uh, when this came along, the little demon was uh, actually Lucy's got a couple other friends who are writing the show who are we call the demons uh-huh. these people are like the young kids who she went to school with or yeah i did theater with, with, in, new did york. Theater with uh-huh. in new york darcy fowler seth kirshner and kieran Vall are the creators and they came to us with this idea and when and, lucy called me and said yeah. you know would you like to play the devil i jumped on it right away <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, yeah it's an extension of life yeah, right yeah. there for him oh, oh. Uh, uh, wow well we, so. we when ria came up here um 
We we uh, put her to work. We actually asked her to uh, come up with a question to ask you two. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, and, great. Yeah, and I want to share it with you okay. right now. Here's your mom, Lucy. Okay. Don't you guys wish I was in every episode of the show? <laughs> I mean, don't you really think about that every time you're getting together to play, you know, to do the voices on this show? Don't you want mine? Yeah. Thanks, Lee. Absolutely. Absolutely. We love every day. And by the way, when you're not there, we're thinking about you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and every show you're not in is missing a piece. Yeah, uh, yeah, really, a piece of our heart. Piece of our heart. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, but Rhea actually is in Little Demon. She, is. she, she yeah. She's in episode nine. There we go. Yeah. We have uh, we did ten episodes, and it's uh, on yeah. FXX, and it's on Thursday night, and then it goes to Hulu when when it uh, finishes its run. It streams on, on Hulu. Yeah. Yeah. But we have leaned on many many friends mm-hmm. like you know Arnold was in one last week, uh-huh. so Arnold did an announcer, and it's the be- it, it's it was a. What a trip working with Arnold. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Yeah, and what then, was that like? Though? Oh, it was great. You know, he oh, yes. I said, You want to do part in the. Oh, yes, Danny, I'll do it right away. <laughs> and he didn't have to do anything. He just stayed home and we sent him a microphone. You know, so it was really good. But we also have Mel Brooks. I, I wow. remember. Wow. That was like, that's legendary, man. Yeah, yes. Mel yeah. Brooks. I'm a, he asked me to be in a. He's doing a show called The History of the World Part Two, and he asked me to play Czar Nicholas. <laughs> it's like three, four lines. Mm-hmm. So I said, Hmm. Good chance, right? Now is my chance. I said, look, Mel, I'll do yours. You do mine. You know, like, I scratch your back, you scratch Jersey. my back. Yeah, you know, <laughs> you know <laughs> down the shore. Jersey, that's the way it works. That, absolutely. That's the way we roll. Okay, so I said, and he said, absolutely. So there was a part of a millipede, and I gave him a part. Lucy, yeah, the, yeah. yeah. he plays the millipede. He plays the wow. millipede. Yeah, yeah, Arnold Schwarzenegger fire. plays the... Uh, uh, that's uh, Mel Brooks. Mel Brooks. Plays oh, Mel Brooks. Mel Brooks. Mel Brooks. Arnold Schwarzenegger plays an announcer. Dave Bautista. I bumped into yeah. Dave Bautista. Wow. Like, wow. You know, yeah. I said one, you know, I don't know, a year or so ago, you know, just hanging out and friendly. There was a part in it of Baca, this buddy of mine who goes in a bachelor party, and it's in the, you know, in the Little Demon. I call him up. I say, you want to do it? Yeah, damn, right away. Let's do it. <laughs> so it's like, I I feel like it's going to be chock full of, like, little tidbits of here and there. You know what I mean? Yeah, wow. we've got some great wow. support. Wow. Yeah. Danny and Lucy DeVito, you just bump into us if y'all need extra voices. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. You got a radio yeah. show interview you got to do with mm-hmm. Little Demon. We, we here for y'all. Yeah. <laughs> Gladly interview the Antichrist. You yeah. might, you yeah. might. Okay, wonderful. <laughs> I think that that's a great storyline for Chrissy. You know, she gets, she gets to go on Thursday. serious for XM. Yeah. For being the Antichrist. Yeah. Get an interview. Yeah. yeah. She get her own yeah. podcast. So, yep. You know, that's a great idea. Be a hell of a cameo. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that guy. Mm-hmm. Takes over a radio station. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Very good. Like <laughs> Danny, let me ask you about working with John Travolta. Yes, Johnny. Yes. Johnny Travolta. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. What, 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 his, I've, I've been a fan of his since Greece, um, Saturday Night Fever, mm-hmm. Welcome Back Carter. Mm-hmm. Okay, mm-hmm. Well, and he he always seems eccentric to me, you know, just in everything he does. What is he like on set, though? Uh, well, I've I've done a couple things with him. Mm-hmm. Uh, one was uh, I wasn't on the set all the time, but he was in Pulp Fiction. And yes, I produced that movie. He's he's a really a terrific, wait. Hold up, hold up, Danny. Uh, hold up, Danny. Man. You can't just Could you say hit the start button? Daddy, and I, just, I, he, I just swept that under the rug, bro. Casey Pulp Fiction. Know. I produced that movie. I'm sorry, but I didn't mean to interrupt you. But well, he, he, you know, mm-hmm. go ahead, go ahead. So he, he, was, <laughs> he was. That was the first time we worked together, and then actually one time we worked together. He did a dog movie or something where I we had voices in a dog movie. I was in that movie, but I had a small part. I played a Chihuahua. I think I'm not sure. Anyway, the idea is that well, we got we did Get Shorty together. That was like the, mm-hmm. the first movie that we were really on set, and uh, what a terrific guy. He was really nice. Very genuine, really good, very solitary, you know, kind of kept to himself, but really good, very good with people. Are you like that on set, or are you yeah, just... I, I, I'm well, a little bit more gregarious. Okay. Yeah, I like, <laughs> you know, like say hello and go chat, you know, and talk to everybody. Sounds like you know Sway. I mean? Just mm-hmm. go around and 
say hello. He goes and talks to everyone. I talk to everybody. He yeah, talks to everyone. everyone. I'll admit it. I talk to yeah, everybody. Talks to yeah. everyone. That's me, bro. I'm perfect for this yeah. little demon series. Can, can I yeah, ask about are. that? Um, because you talked about Andy Kaufman and his sort of awkwardness when he would come on set, but then you also brought up um, how much fun the both of you have had with all the guest cameos and voices and people who have chipped in for Little Demon. And I was actually reading, there was an article about uh, James Gunn, who's uh, behind Guardians of the Galaxy, and he said that he refuses to work with certain people that he's had a bad experience with. Mm -hmm. And, you know, just talking about, like, the rapport you have with certain people, it's like, yes, I'll absolutely do you a favor, or mm -hmm. you don't even have to pay me for this. But is that kind of like the unspoken rule with Hollywood, where it's like once a reputation gets out that somebody might be troublesome or just not pleasant to work with, people are kind of like straying from that like they, like I don't really want to be involved with the project with certain people like that well let's back up to one point you said you, the thing about not having to pay me for something that doesn't apply with me okay <laughs> okay so I, I just, but otherwise you know I'm a favor guy I do favors I do really favors it, they may be costly favors but they're favors <laughs> right no but uh, yeah they're, you know the business is so uh, you know diverse I think that people like jump at the chance to work with their friends you know people mm -hmm. that they know mm -hmm. and so like like that's always a, like a plus, you know, if you're going to go to work, you know, might as well might go as well with, be with your friends. people who you already mm, know and mm -hmm. already have a relationship with, you know. So, so then can you guys sense when someone is just trying to create this faux sense of connection to be in your inner circle for that? Like, have you ever had to deal with someone that you realized later on was fake? Like a phony? Oh, exactly. Yeah. And yeah. they were able to sneak their way. Like into, an opportunist? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like how I'm trying to get on Little Demon right now. <laughs> <laughs> because you hear, you know, the industry is all about relationships. So yeah, no, some absolutely, people, absolutely, absolutely, yeah. yeah, yeah. But I, I really been lucky with my, uh, you know, the all the years that I've been doing this. I like there's like a handful of people, maybe mm -hmm. four, four or five that I'm gonna like, you know, keep in mind as the devil. I'm gonna really screw <laughs> <laughs> them up. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That's now, what's up. Yeah, it's like it's it's a. Uh, you know, once in a while you meet people, but a lot of times it's really good business. I mean, if you really let people understand that they're av you're available to them, mm -hmm. you know, and so it's not if you're you know if you're fronting like a big uh, kind of like you know stay away from me vibe, you know that you got to go with the vi the flow, you know. So, um, so I I keep it open and you know and look for honesty and look for friendship, and if it's there, it's there, and you know it's gonna you're gonna find out soon enough whether yes. it's there or not. You know, it's gonna rear its ugly head. Mm -hmm. You know, and uh, then you act accordingly. <laughs> there it is, Jersey. Well, Jersey, that's a real Jersey. <laughs> right. that, well, you got a problem with that? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You act accordingly. Uh, Danny DeVito is here with us. Lucy DeVito, round of applause for that. <laughs> your your portrayal uh, in Batman Returns of the Penguin, mm. Oswald Cobblepot, <laughs> was just <laughs> baffling, astonishingly, <laughs> astonishingly incredible. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I loved every minute of it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it was good. When uh, mm -hmm. Tim approached me about it, we s started like it from scratch what it was what the penguin was going to look like. Of course, he's an artist, Tim Burton. So yep. he he drew like these great pictures of what Oswald would in his mind would look like and uh, we talked about everything, every aspect of it, how he's a bird who can't fly. He's kind of an odd duck or bird <laughs> penguin. <laughs> Not a duck. Uh, and, uh, you know, his mother and father rejected him. He had no life. He was raised by uh, penguins <laughs> underneath uh, Gotham City. And, you know, he, he, he stuck with the people who really cared cared for him. He was, he was like a, a, a bird out of, he was out of, out of place. And so uh, he had uh, a certain, uh, I think a hero in, a, in an odd way, uh, Oswald, really cared about the city, he cared about the underbelly of the city, the people who weren't. Uh, appreciated people who didn't he was for the working man for the I, I mean you may not see this in the movie <laughs> but I this is the way I approached it as a guy who was there for the people who thinking about the people who are like um, forgotten or not looked at or you know not noticed mm -hmm. and uh, the birds were you know part of my family and and I embraced them and we had a great time and Pee Wee was your dad. And Pee Wee's my dad. Now Pee Wee, who I love, is a really good guy. He's uh -huh. a Pee Wee, uh, Paul Rubin. He's um, he did throw me uh, away. Yeah. Between that icy river. He threw me in that icy river. I did have to get out of that right. cage. But the, the penguins helped me big time, you know. And I don't hold it against them. I mean, listen, job's a job. Right. <laughs> 
Man, Danny DeVito, man, that's I can't even believe you're sitting here with nah, me right that's crazy. now. Man, I'm bugging out right now. I gotta um, ask one last question because I love the cover it, of you... Sympathy for the Devil that you guys use oh, in, yeah. in the series. So whose idea was it to do the cover of that Rolling Stone song? I'm not sure who I don't know. Whose idea that no, was I don't one know. of the editors. None of one neither of ours. Okay. No. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I wish okay. I could take credit for it. No. All right. So can we do something before y'all go? Because I know you only got a few minutes and you gotta go to your next interview. I can see somebody, your handler, looking at me. <laughs> Uh, in case Rhea comes back, uh-huh. is there a question you can ask her? It doesn't have to be movie related. It could be who stole a cookie out the cookie jar. It could be anything. Mm-hmm. <laughs> hmm. All right. Why don't you make me more French toast? <laughs> I really, really love French toast. And you don't make it for me enough. So I miss that about our, our childhood. I'm going to follow up with pancakes because I think Rhea makes the best pancake that you've ever had in your life but you gotta really coax her to do it man I mean you gotta get off your butt and make some pancakes woman Oh, he got tough in the yeah, end. Yeah. <laughs> we'll, 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 we'll edit out the woman. We'll edit out the woman, right? <laughs> Yo, listen, little little demon. You guys make sure you pay. You watch this animated series. It's on yes. FXX, the Devito family, it's and streaming on Hulu. And streaming on streaming on Hulu. It's an honor to have you. Yes, here, bro. thank, thank you, you all so much. It's a dream come true, thank brother. You. Thank, thank you. you. Get that thank for me, all. man. Thank you, man. Thank we want to thank Bianca Lawson for coming by yes. as well. Yes. Uh, check out Queen Sugar. The, uh, the final season starts tonight on, on OWN Network. We want to thank DJ J Smooth mm-hmm. for blessing us with his mix today. J Smooth 007. Follow him on social uh, and Danny and Lucy DeVito, man, I'm coming over one of these holidays. I'm going to work my way yeah, in. Yeah, okay. Pancakes yeah, and okay. French toast. All right, we'll be cool. All right, we're doing it. All right, uh, thank you to the whole squad here today. We're going to end on that note, and we have nothing left to say. <laughs> <laughs>